Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to my next Amiibo customization. Now actually, this, this is going to be very special because I am celebrating that I have over a hundred subscribers on YouTube. Woo! I'm actually, I'm pretty happy. Oh, as you can see, this is all my acrylic paint. Now you're wondering what about the containers? Well, I got them at Walmart. They're actually shoe organizers, but... They're perfect enough to store the two ounce bottles of paint. So as you can see, I have a drawer for each certain one. So, today, okay, so to commemorate that I have over 100 subscribers on YouTube, I have decided, well, it's going to be, a, it's a series. I plan to make all nine EV evolutions as custom amiibos. So, we're going to start with the, with the simplest one. And that'll be Umbreon. That's actually my favorite out of all of Eevee's evolutions. There's a total of nine of them. I'm not sure if I can, if I'm going to make the Eevee's basic form. Well, I got inspired from Ak Age Shop. She's a really cool customizer. She made the, she made Eevee using a Pikachu amiibo. So, now since we're going to be making Umbreon, you will need the following things. First, you'll need paint. Now, since Umbreon's only three colors, this flamenco red is going to be for its eyes, the black is going to be for its body and its pupils, and the yellow is going to be the yellow markings on its tail and body. Now, the amiibo you're going to use is a Pikachu. Now, we're not going to... Now, okay, that's... Yeah. No, because we're going to use Pikachu as the main base for all the forms, but as this video goes along, I'm going to show like how each one is different. So, with this amiibo, you'll we'll need the Pikachu, an X-Acto knife for this. You actually just need a pair of pliers. Because the only thing where we're going to do is we're going to remove Pikachu's tail. Since we're going to be making, now since we're going to be making a new tail for Pikachu, you'll need paper clips. They'll stand. They'll be the supporting. They'll be the supporting part for the tail when you sculpt it. You'll need Milliput. Of course, you can get epoxy sculpt, but I like Milliput. It handles a lot better, and you can get it for a lot cheaper. But that's my opinion. You'll need super glue. You can get this at the ninety-nine cent store, and you'll need paint brushes. Now, the specific ones you'll need is. You'll see there's a fine tip. You'll see this one for minor detailing, like when you're painting the eyes. And you'll need a wide brush like this. So that way when you paint the base coat and the body, you know, it'll be perfect. Oh, shoot. Shoo. I forgot white. You need white for the base coat. You can use a spray paint primer for these, um, for these customs. The problem with that is that um well i know um you get a clean finish the problem with those is that you have to wait 24 hours for it to fully dry but i like painting the base coat which is going to be white and this is a new thing i'm trying now you're probably familiar with this i know cus i know cosplayers are it is called mod podge basically what it is it's a gluing sealant that you brush on it's a gluing sealant that you brush on. It dries on clear. It's um, it's like a lacquer finish, but it's um, it, it's without the fumes. So I want to try this because you put Mod Podge on, and then you put on your spray sealant. Because what I like about this is that between each coat, you can wait 15 to 20 minutes, and to to eliminate tackiness, use a spray-on sealer. Oh. And make sure you have a pair of good gloves for your hands. You can use latex gloves. These are just some cheapy gloves I got at the 99 cent store. Because a lot of times when people are painting, you know, you don't pay attention because it's like, yeah, you're like not paying attention and you paint your hands. Oh, and painter tape. So yeah, we're going to be making Umbreon. The only thing we're going to be removing is Pikachu's tail. Because it'd be a waste of Milliput to try to trim it and stuff so okay so in the next video i'm going to show you how to remove the tail tape up the base and put in the, the paper clip skeleton for the new one 
and then we can get the sculpting. Alright, so this is basically all the stuff you'll need to make your Umbreon custom amiibo. That's all the paints and stuff. Oh, and a disclaimer. Oh, here's a disclaimer. I don't think I'll be using glow in the dark paint for the patterns. It, it dep it'll depend because that stuff is expensive. Well, it's like a $2 a bottle if you can find it. The cheapest I found it was at Walmart. So, so I'll see you in the next video. And as always, thank you for watching.